Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So today we are doing our hashtag 2024 um, CW planner and this is, excuse me, hosted by um, Marguerite Miller and I will make sure that all of her links are in the description box below. So my voice was fine until I hit the um, <clears throat> start button. Uh, who knows what's going on? But yeah, so today. All right, guys. So this is for August. And last month, I actually got it wrong. And there were um, actually five Wednesdays in the month. So last month, I should have did five weeks and I did not. So today, we are going to do five weeks. So we are going to go fairly quickly um, so that we can get through this and get it over with. Also doing my hashtag love a little channel. And I have decided I'm doing five videos instead of doing um, one hashtag love a little channel um, for each week's prompt list that I do. I'm just going to do one per video. Um, and hashtag love a little channel um, was started by Carol at A Crinkle Path. So go and check her out. Um, so this month hashtag love a little channel is sarah lee armstrong and i will make sure to put a link to her channel in the description box below and i'm going to go ahead and mark that one as done so that i don't get confused okay so first week we have architectural elements so architectural element i have a fireplace it's huge, I know, but we're going to get all of this in there. In stained paper, I have these. Um, this is actually coffee dyed paper. Uh, this one is. Actually, this one is not. That's from an antique book page. So I'm going to put it to the side, and I guess we'll use this one. Because I do know that this is coffee dyed paper. Um, a doll or a toy. We have a toy here. Uh, something in vibrant red. I could not make up my mind. Um, but it looks like since this is so big, we're going to use her as our vibrant color. Um, something imaginary. We have a horse here with wings. It doesn't have the unicorn thing, so I don't know if it qualifies for it to be a unicorn or not. And then a bonus is a piece of coloring book. So we are going to go ahead and just get started with this. Kind of figure out where we want our placement here um, and then just go for it put this here put that there and then just tear off a little piece of that so I believe that's what we'll do so we will get started I hope you are all doing well today um, doing pretty good it is what is it? Oh, it is Tuesday. I am filming ahead. Um, wanted to go ahead and get um, this done since it was going to be time consuming with having to get up all the prompts for five weeks. It took a while. Um, yeah, so I am filming way ahead. And today, um, August the 6th, is actually... Our granddaughter Jaslyn's 13th birthday, so um, they are going to, oops, okay, there we go. They are going to come over um, after school because they, excuse me, started school, I think, last Friday. Um, so this is like the third day of school. So they are going to... Pop in after school, and we're going to have a little birthday cupcakes and give her her gift. And I'm excited because I actually she turned 13 today, so I actually bought her 13 gifts. So I am <clears throat> excited to see her open up her gifts. So that will be fun. Um, yep, yeah, that will be fun. Okay, we can still see the fireplace. And then we'll just tear off a piece of this. And put it on there. And I think we have 
our prompts for this week. So this one is our hashtag 2024CW31, and it's an ar architectural element, which is the fireplace, um, stained paper, a doll or a toy, something in vibrant red, something imaginary, and a piece of a coloring book. And I totally forgot about this. I should have made that a pocket. So, we are just going to throw this down somewhere. Teach me to get in a hurry, I suppose. So, we'll just put it there and you can still see the fireplace in the coloring book. All right. So, I have the next one ready. And the next one is... A cake or dessert. So we have some dessert here. Uh, an instrument with keys. So for that one, I actually have an accordion. It has keys on it. And then a flying insect. So we have this ugly insect right here. Um, polka dots. Have this polka dot pillow here. Uh, a flag and a piece of ri ribbon. So there is our piece of ribbon. And there is a flag on here. So we will just cut this down. And cut the flag part out. <coughs> Let's try to see. About how big we want it. Do about there. Then we actually get both of the flags in there. We could put it under there. That over the top. Put that up there. Okay, yeah, that's got it all. Okay, cool. Okay, so we will go ahead and get this down first. A new page here. So it has cooled off here tremendously. We have winds, I believe, from the hurricane, Hurricane Debbie. Um, we do have a friend on the um, Gulf Coast, and he is good and safe, so that is good. Very worried about him. He is in his mid-70s um, and alone, so yeah, we had called him a few days ago to see what they were actually saying down there it was going to be like, so but yeah, he is, <clears throat> he is good, thank goodness, certainly prayers for everyone in that area. Here's our ugly flying insect, our polka dots here, I think this was out of a quilting book, that's what that was. Alright, so now I'm going to use just a teeny tiny bit of Fabri-Tac. To put our bow on with, I think it'll just hold it better in the long run. Let's put it there. Get glue all over my finger, of course. that lid has glue all in it so once again I forgot about, about my prompts goodness what is wrong with me I just had the issue didn't I let's take and cut it down farther so it's smaller and then we're just going to chunk it on here somewhere 
are certainly not going to matter that much about it or worry that much about it. Want to not cover up the dessert because that is part of the prompt. All right, there we go. So we have cake or dessert, an instrument with keys, a flying insect, polka dots, a flag, and bonus is a piece of ribbon. So we have that. Okay. It's going to be a little bit. We'll try to squish her down some. All right. So the next week. All right. So the next week we have leaves, which I picked this out for. Uh, something made from wood. There's a wooden shelf there we'll cut out. Uh, graft paper. Uh, something that makes you happy. Here is a garden. That makes me happy. Uh, an animal with fur. We have a dog. And bonus is a receipt. So this is actually just a piece of a receipt and I, that I've doodle painted on. So I think we'll just use a small piece of that. So we have that, that, that. This is pretty much going to, well, not really be able to stay the size that it is because it's oopsie daisy. Because it's too big. I just tore that all wrong, but we're not going to worry about it. Okay, so we could put that in here. Just get a smaller piece of the graft paper maybe here okay and we can go ahead and cut out our little wall shelf here So that we have it. But yes, it has cooled off a lot. It's actually very pleasant outside. Um, with a slight cool breeze. So that is good. That. And we have. Let's see. Green leaves. What part do we want? I guess we could go... ...about here. Go across the top. Here. Here, here, and then we have our shelf. We have our furry little friend, and then we have a piece of a receipt. Um. Let's see. Let's transfer this to the top. This at the bottom. And then this piece we can put on like a pocket and put our <coughs> prompts in there. Okay. Yep, that's good. Okay, we'll do that. So, let's go ahead and stick our graft paper on there. Goes there. And then, put this at the bottom. go and then this get 
tape on there. Oops. There. And get our furry little friend on there. Okay, and then this, okay, let's see, we have leaves, oh, did I do that wrong, 31, 32, oh, I did something wrong, didn't I? No. Oh, yeah. Something made from wood. Oh, I've lost our shelf. Oh, where did it go? Oh, do you guys see it anywhere? I might have to pause you guys and find it. Not sure where it went. Okay, I'm going to pause you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I couldn't find it, so I just cut out something else. <laughs> it's another shelf. It's just a different one. I have no idea where it went. So we will just stick that up there. Um, so we have our leaves, something made from wood, graph paper, something that makes you happy, an animal with fur, and a receipt. So, yeah, so we got everything. Jeez, I have no idea where it went. I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. It's probably right in my face. So we'll put that there. And then this, we will use the art glitter glue and put it on as a pocket. That way we can just stick our prompts right down in there. Alright, so this is our hashtag CW33. So that one is done. Now we are ready for our hashtag 2024 CW34. Let me get up some of these paper clips. Put the lid on our glue. Alright, so we have a place. And I actually have a garden, which is a place. Uh, something that makes a sound in a pattern. I have this flute base here. Uh, a portion of a blank form. I have this right here. Maybe it can go right there. go um someone else's handwriting I have this um something inspired by a fairy tale we have this dragon here he can actually be our big pocket down here for these and then random marks with paint or pen this is some of my um painting papers so we will just use some of this, and I think we'll do like a small piece up here in this corner to give some life to that. And then perhaps just a small piece under here to give some life to that. Yeah. And then this will go in there. All right, 
So, looks like we need this first. So, we will go ahead and chunk it up here in that corner, and then this. It's a little warm in here, so my glue is really soft. We'll go there. Okay. And this here. Yeah. We'll put this on next. Are any of you guys doing this challenge? Let me know in the comments below if you are. I think this is my... <clears throat> third or fourth year. I think it's the third year, I think. Not positive. I really enjoy doing the prompts. I mean, it could be a bit time consuming getting everything ready, but um, it certainly gets me to thinking. Okay. So this will go there. So this will need to go about there. About right there. And then this. Yeah, it's going to be our pocket. for our prompts. We need to change our page. Okay, there's that. And then this we will put down as a pocket. Alright, so I think we have everything. Let's double check. Okay, <clears throat> we have a place, which is a garden. Um, something that makes a sound in a pattern. A blank form, someone else's handwriting. Uh, something inspired by a fairy tale. And random marks with pen or paint. Here we go. Or we could go this way. Yeah, we can go that way. That's one to stick down. Okay, there we go. All right, guys. Our fifth and last week. This is hashtag CW2024, 2024 CW35. And on here we have an illustration from a children's book. So I thought we would cut her out. Um, a hexagon, so I have my hexagon punch, hexagon punch, and this was a gift from my friend Angela at the Traveling Crafter, um, brown, brown or craft paper, um, name of your favorite tea, this is actually my favorite tea, is green tea, uh, a string of numbers, this is just numbers that I stamped on antique book page, and a fragment item from your surroundings, I really have no idea what that meant. But this was in my surroundings, like right there, right over there. Um, so I just grabbed it. So let's go ahead and grab our scissors and cut out Al cut out Alice here. Not gonna worry about doing too good of a job here. Just want to get her cut out. Try not to cut the tip of her fingers off though. Okay.
All right, there is Alice, and I'm gonna keep that because I like that. Okay, cool. So we'll just put that right down the edge. I said we were going to this out. That can be a future belly band there. Oops, I dropped it in the floor. So we will get glue on here. Okay, there we go. And then that's pretty much gonna go the whole page, but I think I want it on that side. It just shows up better on that craft paper right there. Yeah. Okay, there's our string of numbers. Here's our Alice. <coughs> Let's see. Ah, oh, man, that one's not going to fit in there. Let's see. I thought it would be cute just to have that as a pocket. So let's just take that little doodly-doo. And I'm going to keep that because we can use that. And then see if this will fit in here. Ah, oh, man. Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to fold it. And then she'll fit. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Okay. So we could just do that. Is that everybody? Illustration. Oh, no, we have our hectagon. And I am just... Oh, man. Y'all see what I did? I put that on the wrong side. I'm supposed to be over here. I bet we're not going to get it up. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it up and transfer it or not. We might not be able to. You know what? I'm just going to take this off. Just leave that paper there. Y'all hold on just a second. I'm going to grab another piece of paper. Jeez, can't believe I did that. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. At least I realized it before I got too much down, right? And I don't think that's going to matter on our next prompt. I think it'll be okay there. Just looked like we jotted something down for background, right? Okay, there we go. And let's just get some more glue on here. Get them back down. There. Aha, we got it. We got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. Do not panic. Okay, we were going to do a hectagon when I recognized that, right? So, I am just going to do a couple out of my painting papers. Okay. So, we could put him there. And she's just now looking this way. We could put this there. Or... Bring her down and put that there. And then get our little hectagons on here. This was a gift from my friend Angela at the Traveling Crafter. I'm not sure if I said that with the whole realization panic that I was putting on the wrong page. Hectagon there. Now this is really thick, so I'm going to use the 
our glitter glue here. We'll get our little zebra down that's supposed to be our fragment. I have no idea. And then I'll go ahead and put this down, which is the name of my favorite tea. It's going to double as a pocket. Cool, I like that idea. And then she could just go there. Okay. And I think that is it. Okay, let's see what we have. We might do another hectagon there. Illustration, hectagon, brown or craft paper, uh, name of your favorite tea, a string of numbers, and a fragment from your surroundings. Okay, so we got everything, but we're going to go do another hectagon, <coughs> excuse me, to fill in some of this space here. There we go. Right. Yeah, that at least gives us a little something in there. All right, guys. So there we go. So that takes care of... Oh, I was going to keep that. That takes care of... Oh, I'm going to keep that. Shh, no judgment, guys. See, I said I was going to keep that. Hey, it's 1700 antique book page. Why would you throw it away? Okay, so that is it for our hashtag 2024 um, CW. And we actually have weeks 31, 32, 33, 34... And 35. So that gets us completely caught up to where we need to be. And again, as a reminder, my hashtag love a little channel, uh, which was started by Carol at a crinkle path is Sarah Lee Armstrong. So you guys go and check her out. And again, from now on, I will just do, um, one a month on the hashtag love a little channel instead of trying to do um, four channels. Um, <clears throat> yeah, instead of trying to do four channels for every video, um, I just thought that... Uh, look, see, I knew we would find it. There's my wooden shelf. <clears throat> I knew it. Okay, anyway. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Please keep the prayers coming. I know I'm filming ahead of time. Um, healing from my surgery is going well. Um, feeling pretty good today. Still having some pain. But, yeah, definitely not like it was. But, any who I need prayers every day anyway. So, just, yeah, just pray for me. Alright, love you guys and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.